What is up guys, Baddies here. Welcome to another video. In today's video guys, we're gonna cut chase the chase, but I'm gonna give you guys my top three niches, niches, whatever, whatever you wanna call them, um, for Shopify dropship that actually made me a lot of money. And this first one here, I'm literally gonna show you a screen recording right now, but it helped generate over $124,000 for the month of December, okay? That's, that's 124,000 in one month, okay? And I'm 20 guys, so this is crazy. I'm trying to help you guys out and just show you guys like, Yo, this it's possible, results are possible, all this stuff is crazy, so we're gonna hop right into it, guys, and uh, guys, so we are screen recording right now, and um, I'll take a look here and refresh it for you guys, just so you guys can actually see that it's like legit. Oh, so guys, this is for the month of December, $124,960. Now, for you know your top three niches, I'm not only gonna give you guys you know just three niches, because that's super easy to do, it's just like boom, 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 but I'm also gonna tell you guys like, hey, you know your niche, niche, whatever you wanna call it, you know that now, but how are you actually gonna find products, right? Because <laughs> your niches will help you to some extent, but if you can't actually find, you know, converting products, um, actual products that help you generate sales and just are trending, are in season, blah, 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 then you won't really, you won't make money, right? Um, so that's the thing, okay? So my top three niches, guys. <laughs> uh, number three is men's apparel, okay? Uh, or men's fashion, basically. And I actually never sold clothing um, I sold seasonal clothing, but I never sold just standard stuff. I never sold like a hey, regular t-shirt, blah, 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 okay? Most of the things I sold in the men's fashion industry were actually like accessories, okay? So like rings, okay? Rings, um, you know, a year and a half ago, I was making a lot of money selling anchor bracelets, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, like I'm literally, I'm giving you guys products here, okay? That actually made me a lot of money and like they might not be as trendy now. Again, you can go look, there's a lot of ways to source this stuff that I talk about in my free mini course videos and in the shop remaster course. I always plug guys, link in the description, but um, there's a lot of ways to go about, you know, finding these products and finding which ones sell. But again, guys, those these products aren't as trendy. Like ankle bracelets, for example, they're not as trendy as they were a year and a half ago, um, especially in the fashion industry, because it's always evolving. It's like any kind of market, right? Even Shopify dropship, it's always evolving. You always have to change, you know, how you're marketing, what you're doing to market, all that kind of stuff. So that niche or niche, whatever, right? Men's fashion, uh, men's fashion accessories, um, you know, more specifically, right? It's kind of where like hats. Uh, necklaces, you know, rings, bracelets, like that kind of stuff, right? Because like me personally, like that's kind of what I like. Like I like, you know, accessories, so like, that's what I wear. Uh, so that's that's what I sold. And then uh, the next one, guys, is actually uh, women's apparel, but it's more of you know hat apparel. So it's like I mean, literally like like hat, like almost like dad caps, but you're you're marketing them towards women. Okay, so that's that's one kind of. I mean, niche, right, is the women's fashion. So again, guys, the, with, with, my, with my funnel and how I actually collect traffic, right, I drive a lot of my traffic in the beginning stages of my website, so I'm collecting data to scale with my sites through Instagram. And Instagram is such a visual platform, right? Like, like I'm sure you, your friends, you know people, they're posting, you know, pretty pictures on Instagram. Instagram is a very visual platform, guys. What does that mean? I just burped. What, is, what does that mean? It means you need to post visual compelling content. You need good content to convert on Instagram. You need good content to pique someone's curiosity, to gain interest, to get them to your website on Instagram, right? If you can't do that, you know, if you're posting white background pictures all the time, like, yeah, you can post them every once in a while, but if you're posting them all the time or the AliExpress stock images that are blurry and pixelated, you're not going to convert, guys. It's, it's, it's easy to repost those pictures because they're just there for you. You don't have to actually order the product. You don't actually take a picture, but then you don't have to actually, you know, make it, you know, you don't have to actually put in effort, right? Um, so it's obviously easy to do that. There's more people doing that, and that's why there's more people not getting money. We're not getting results with that, okay? So that's that's the basis of it. But again, that's just how I drive traffic, and that's, if you aren't familiar with that, if you want to know how this <laughs> free mini courses, but those are the two niches right there. The third one, guys, the third one, guys, is actually luxury accessories. Now that, again, if you, if you guys notice what, what, what I kind of tend to stay in, right, is fashion. I really, really like to hold on to just fashion because, again, with my marketing techniques, I drive a lot of traffic through Instagram. Instagram's visual. I can make a lot of fashion products look really good with good photography, good imagery, good, you know, videography, all that kind of stuff. And then I can get, you know, interested users to my website to convert. And then I can get that data from, you know, the Facebook pixel and then scale up with different multiple ad campaigns going out. Um, to actually like, you know, gain you know, a, a wider audience of the same interest of people, if that makes sense, right? But there's a lot of different ways to kind of go about doing that. And again, guys, like I stay kind of in fashion, okay? Now there's a few different things you wanna think about, like, oh, one, seasons, right? Winter, summer, spring, like all that kind of stuff. When is it, or when is it approaching, right? Um, that's what you gotta think about, because then you have, to, you have to factor in a lot of things, like shipping times, okay? Um, your, your own promotions and stuff like that, like are you gonna promote, you know, hey, 
summer's on its way, stock up now, buy, you know, goggles now, swim trunks now, like, you know, stuff like that, right? It's always summer somewhere too, if you can think about that, right? So you don't necessarily have to switch your products every season, okay, I don't do that. Me personally, I just switch where I'm targeting every season. I can have multiple sites that are selling different things just for different, you know, areas of the world, okay? But again, most of you guys, well, probably at least if you're getting your feet wet, you want most of your orders in the United States. It's less of a hassle for you guys. So then you can kind of stick around to whatever's you know going on in the United States, okay, or in the U.S., wherever you're from, okay, because you're probably most you know personally like in tune with that. Uh, and just whatever you know, whatever season is around where you live, that can also be clear. Whatever season's approaching where you live, like all that kind of stuff, you can prep stores. Because personally, guys, once you once you kind of know the cycle, guys, you can get a store launched in a day. You can have marketing stuff like for for organic, like, you know, Instagram shoutouts and stuff like that done within a day. Um, you can have all that kind of stuff done in a day, guys. You don't need to necessarily like prep um, your stores per se. It's just building up that data, building up that you know that volume. Because again, guys. You would need volume to kind of scale your, your Facebook pixel, right? You need volume, you need traffic, you need a lot of that. So it's like, how long is it gonna take you to actually get quality, interested, relevant traffic to your store so you can convert with Facebook ads? Because Facebook ads is where you can blow it up, right? So you, like, here's, here's, here's the thing, guys. You don't want to say, say, say it's already summer. You launch a summer store, right? But summer ends in, you know, three, four weeks, right? By the time, you know, hey, you're making good money because it is summer, right? So you're selling relevant products to a relevant audience. But just not as large or as like as in like as scaled as you wanted to, right? But you're building that data, and then say it takes you know, two, three weeks to actually get you know 100 orders or whatever to actually have you know a quality kind of pixel that you can actually work with. But it takes three weeks to get, right? Summer's over, <laughs> you missed it, right? So that's the thing, guys. That's that's why I mean, kind of like look ahead. Um, at like what's coming your way so that you can actually have time to prep because it's not just prepping your site and stuff like that Because that's not really what needs prepping. It's your marketing You need to prep your actual scaling in the time frame that you're actually gonna be scaling Okay, so that, that that's one thing too and so that I mean I know I'm kind of on tangent because I know this video is just about like niches But I want to actually like help you guys like figure out like oh, you know This is what I can do for my niches This is you know how I can prep for that how I can actually get you know quality relevant traffic incoming to my stores that I can prepare for that um, based on you know these different like time frames and what I'm working with guys and what I found right is fashion fashion's always you know in trend right you just have to figure out what's trending in fashion but fashion's always trendy okay so it's like vice versa kind of thing right so fashion there's always people interested in fashion right it's just what is in trend right now what's the season blah 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 like all that kind of stuff what are you selling okay because again a lot of you guys like I, I have DMs from you guys that are saying like hey I have you know a cat store um, on Instagram it's not converting Right, they have like five followers on their Instagram pages and not getting any sales. It's like really wonder why. Like, start with something, guys, that like again, you need to look for competition. That's also something that I really, really preach is hey, if there's a lot of competition, that means a lot of money right there that you can take if you can market it better. Okay, if you if you go somewhere where there's no competition, like it's drop shipping, guys, it's super easy to get into. If there's no competition, that's a red flag, that's a warning. Okay, you don't want to hop in somewhere where <laughs> there's no one there and really means there's no money there okay so you look for competition look for people that you're gonna be competing with okay like oh these guys are selling this right now okay I'm gonna sell this right now too as well right but I'm just gonna market it better than they are so there's a lot of ways to go about that guys and so those are like the three kind of niches right so we got just to recap men's fashion primarily accessories okay women's accessories primarily caps all right, this is just me personally, okay? I'm giving this to you guys. Literally, you can stop watching this video. Actually, don't stop watching this video because I'm actually going to show you how to like, source actual good products. But, <laughs> but yeah, keep watching, guys. Um, but you, like, after this video, you guys can literally prepare a site, get it all done within a day, and actually start you know, generating relevant traffic to your stores, especially if you know check out the free mini courses down below. But, guys, so, yeah, so women's uh, fashion accessories, right? Primarily caps. And third one is just luxury Fashion. Okay, I'm not gonna go too in depth with that, but that one there, guys, that's what generated the uh, the site results. Okay, that I just showed you in the beginning of the video. Okay, so that that's just one store, guys. In December again, I own about six stores right now. Um, well, I mean, if, if, you, if I consider all the stores that I'm also partnered with, that I work with multiple people on, then I'm about eleven. But that's just the guys. Like again, with dropshipping, once you understand the cycle, guys, it's just rinse and repeat, and you can do this over and over and over and over and over for a bunch of different stores. So that's that's the beauty of it, guys, and that's kind of what I want to. Um, show you guys um, right now, but again, guys. So it's like, how do you actually find you know good products? If, if you guys are stuck in a niche, you guys don't know what niche you want to go. And again, there's three that I just gave right there. But then it's like, where do I find products? Like, where do I go for these products? So like, how do I kind of validate products or make sure I'm getting you know the best profit margins on my products? Blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, 
one, it's like, how are you actually sourcing it, you know, originally, right? Are you going to AliExpress? Um, are you looking at these suppliers, okay? Because again, guys, you can source products in Oberlo when you guys are doing it. Again, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like watch uh, my beginner video or something like that, but this is for people that actually kind of like have the baseline of what dropshipping is. So if you, if you can source products through Oberlo, right? But if you have the Chrome extension, you actually go on AliExpress, you have a much, much wider array of products that you can choose from instead of just going in the Oberlo app, okay? So now you have a whole bunch more products, a whole bunch more suppliers you're working with, right? Because again, there's a bunch of suppliers selling the same crap. So it's just finding one that sells it cheaper that also is you know, generating um, you know, a good amount of orders so it's not like they're just like a one-off kind of thing. It's like you can actually rely on them. And then it's a matter of just, hey, contacting them, generating some form of relationship with them so that eventually down the road you can work with you know, a lot better shipping times, a lot better customer service, white labeling, private labeling down the road. Like, there's a lot of things you want to prep for, right? But again, that's, that's the three um, niches that I'm talking about. If you guys don't really you know, have a product idea in place, guys, or anything like that, there is a software that actually really helps with you um, on just giving you product ideas every single week, which I think is kind of crazy. I, I didn't have this. I had to freaking scour Instagram for hours finding what I wanted to find. But guys, so there is this one website. Actually, I'm going to go to the screen share right now. All right, guys, we are in the screen recording. This is the software that I'm kind of talking about. It's not really a software, but it's, it's a program that's super, super beneficial. Um, I kind of been talking about it low key just to when you guys message me personally. I just haven't like kind of thrown it out there yet. Um, but this is one relevant thing that is actually super super useful, but basically guys it's called dropship spy Okay, and what that actually is is every single week they actually Prove to you that this product or this product or this product is selling and trending and selling like wildfire Okay, so it's literally like every single week and they have again They have they add products like I think daily It's just every like they have, they have free products You can literally go on the website I'll link it down in the description below but you can go on the website and they give you a free product that's already proven to sell. And what do I mean? Like, how do they actually prove that it sells? <laughs> Literally, they will list you the top three AliExpress suppliers, okay? That have different, you know, profits, what they're selling at, so that you can look at potential profit margin on your end. They give you reviews that you can import to your website, okay? They show you popular Facebook ads that people are already running with results, right? They show you engaged Facebook ads, okay? They give you keywords that you can use to target. It's it's literally like it's it's kind of cheating dropshipping in a way. Again, you guys have to like, you know, have a good quality website, have you know, experience I guess with your own ads or just running Instagram shadows, blah blah blah. But the fact is like it it proves to you guys that hey, this product is selling like crazy right now. You should probably look into selling it if you want to generate some money, okay? And it does that really really well and really really efficiently, guys. And it's dirt cheap too. I think it's literally like let me look at price that. Twenty bucks a month. Or ten dollars a week, and like, and and if you guys just want to check it out, they have a free product on the website. You can literally click on. Again, guys, it's not in those three niches per se uh, that I mentioned earlier that like that have worked personally for me. It's just at the current moment, what is selling like the most or the trendiest or just like uh, just grossing the most amount, right? That's what this comes in. So it's like if you guys are kind of lost, you're kind of just looking around for something, you just want to like tweak around it. Maybe if you're a general store or something like that, that, you want to like throw products in and then scale with Facebook ads, just throw some Facebook ads at it, some shadows, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff, guys. This is definitely a tool that I would personally recommend you check out. Um, I know the owners personally. I've literally talked to them um, going over this guy's the website. They've cleaned up a lot. Like I've talked to them personally. was like, hey, like this product is really nice. I want to talk about it to my audience because it, it literally helps, it helps me get sales um so that that's that guys um again like for general store stuff like this is what i prefer um but again guys if you're working with your own niches your own stuff like that again it's just sourcing guys and just how are you sourcing you know looking at aliexpress looking on the back end of things as well as the front end things right again you're looking for competitors all that kind of stuff that i talked about earlier in the video guys but that's the video i want to keep it too too long but those are the three niches guys i hope i was also to you know give you guys some more value and just like how to actually get those products to sell finding products to sell within niches um that, that's the video guys leave a like comment I respond to everybody's comments and subscribe we are going fast i'm doing a video a day guys so i'm sure you'll find something you like um but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to check out the ecom hub it's like the platform that i made and brought on a bunch of young studs that have gotten crazy results too we have free mini courses down below that you can literally just download for free and just gobble up value. i mean like I, I don't know why you guys wouldn't do it a lot of you guys are really really you know reacting well to it just because we put in a lot of effort and time and just making this platform for you guys um there also is the shopify mastery course which literally covers every single thing in dropshipping website apps widgets conversion rates scaling facebook ads influencer ads creating shout outs blah 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 manual bidding what are you doing you know scaling my life everything 
like everything okay I don't I can't even like it's just everything that relates to Shopify and just helping you guys get sales which is what I'm super proud to like offer right and that's the very first link in the description but that's the video guys I won't talk too much about that um, you just know I got a plug so that's the video guys leave a like comment and subscribe I will see you guys in tomorrow's video if you're new to the channel then welcome and uh, don't forget to subscribe there's a bunch of videos that I talk about and um, yeah <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video take care peace Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related, from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.